Welcome back out to the shop. I'm out here working on my daughter's 2000 Jeep Cherokee. If you're not familiar with the project, click the link in the corner and you'll see the playlist for the Betsy Ross Jeep project. Today we're going to pick up where we left off a couple weeks ago and that's a leaky steering box input shaft. So I have never rebuilt one of these boxes. I've never addressed a steering box leak like this. I've always just replaced the box with one from the junkyard. Um, but the ones from my junkyard this time all had a leak in them. So I have this one, I have another one there, and then I have the one in the Jeep. I think I have another one somewhere, but I don't know where it is and it, chances are these things are all old enough now. They probably all are gonna leak. So. I went ahead and ordered a replacement seal kit for the input shaft. And again, we're talking about the input shaft. That's the input, not the steering gear. This is the pinion gear shaft. Anyway, the input shaft. So I've taken this one apart and taught myself how to do it. You basically spin this jam nut off. You use the spanner. You take this little inner nut off and then this whole thing comes out and you can get at the O-ring and the seal that's in there. The problem is that I have this one that I need to do it to. And, well, I don't want to make a mess. So I've got to figure out how to get that guy out, get all the fluid out of it, get that piece out, change the seal, and then get it all back together. So we're going to learn this one together today. Thanks for stopping out. Let's get right to it. It's all brand new fluid too. It's so clean. All right, well, there goes nothing. All right, what I've decided I'm gonna try first is I'm gonna try taking the steering shaft off and see if I can get it apart, get the input shaft out um, <clears throat> while it's still in the Jeep and just let all the fluid run down into a bin on the ground and maybe I can get it done while it's still in the Jeep. If that doesn't work, then I end up taking the whole box out. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. All right, I just marked them so that I can tell about, I got it right back in the same spot. At least that's my goal anyway. I got that loose and now I got to get a bucket for underneath so I can start taking it out the rest of the way. I got a bucket underneath and I got a little bit of a form of funnel there so that I can try to uh, manage this mess the best that we can. All right, now we got the jam nut off. Let's take our spanner and try to get the uh, that other unit thing off of there. Since that didn't work, we've got to take these three bolts out here and drop the whole unit out and then I'll set it right there in that pan or something. I'd like to avoid having to take this off, but I kind of feel like that's going to have to happen. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. We got it hanging there, kind of sitting on a jack stand. Uh, the one thing that I didn't measure or anticipate is this return line here, the low pressure line. Not very short, don't want it hanging on that, don't want to break the nipple on the back of the reservoir. But um, let's see if we can get this done.
this is um, what we pulled out of there. It is the, um, it has the seal in the front and then it has the O-ring around the edges like that. And so we will change that seal and that O-ring. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully this guy comes out of there without too much trouble. I think last time I was able to just kind of pry it out on the other box over there. Yeah. It came right out. It actually flew over there. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> There you go. Uh, it's pretty, pretty nasty looking, but I think it was probably more that it dried out than being dirty. And uh, these, I don't know. I've driven these Jeeps a long while, and I've had so few of them leak in this place that I would guess it was either from drying, which both of these, all three of these boxes that are sitting around here have sat around for a long time and I'm guessing that the seals just dried up. So, who knows, it may have uh, eventually sealed itself. <laughs> Probably not. Let's get the new ones. Okay, new seal kit. Um, if I have a link for it, I will put it in the description below. I believe I got this one on Amazon, but I don't know for sure. If it's from Amazon, it will definitely be in a link below. And if it is in a link below and it's from Amazon, it's an affiliate link so it throws a couple of pennies at the channel to help me buy more Jeep parts. If it's not from Amazon, then it's not sponsored and I earn nothing. Eh, heck, I don't earn anything anyway. Here, so we got uh, this rubber piece right here. We're gonna just peel at it and just whoosh, pull that off. I don't know if you saw me doing that or not, but I took uh, my hands and I got the other one all wet. And I'm just putting it over there, putting it into place. Now, if you're gonna roll it into place like I did, roll it into place using a little hook underneath of it like this, and then go around it like that, and let it set and not spin, because I don't, it's, it's bad to have a twist in it. Or at least that's what they've always told me. So, now we have a new seal in there. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna wet this one up so that it's nice and juicy. Maybe even come over here and get some fresh juicy on that. Right. And then the direction of this should be pretty straightforward. You should be able to tell that. Uh, but this part goes out towards the, in, the, the input. This part goes in towards the box. So the part with a little spring on the back of it goes in towards the box. And by in towards the box, I mean Nope, upside down. I mean, right like that. So I'm just gonna put this on the ground. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, how do I show you guys this? Um, stand by. See that? This guy right here. Slide it out this way a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. Okay, so set this guy right on there like that, and then just kind of push him in there. I think maybe we can just kind of give it a little, little tap tap. Maybe I need to get a socket. The other one just kind of popped out. 
Yeah, let me get a socket that's that size. Let's not damage our new seal. There we go, even it out a little bit. We either got it in there and it's good or we'll be buying a new steering box. I don't know. We'll find out. Everything on the back there seems good. So now it's just a matter of trying to get that sucker back in there. All right, so one of the other things I gotta do is I gotta clean this uh, piece off. This is the threaded part that we got out with the spanner. You see it's kind of dirty on the front there. So I'm gonna try to clean that up a little bit. I'm gonna clean that jam nut up a little bit. And then we're gonna try to stab this all back in there. All right, let's see if we can get this thing back in. tape to figure out whether we put enough turns in that or not. I have no idea what I'm doing. Steering shaft back on there. And we're back in business. Okay, it's back together, but it's wrong. So, I gotta do it again. <laughs> Too much play in the steering wheel. Uh, I, I think I must have miscounted the number of revolutions that I tightened it back down. So I gotta take it back apart and see if I can fix that. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Maybe I can do that while it's in there, we'll see. Anyway, I gotta go to the store. Get some things, and I will be back at it a little bit later tonight, uh, and I'll see you then. Well, we're back from the store. <clears throat> Sometimes it's good to just step away from a problem, come back to it with a fresh mind. So that's what I did. I came back, and I made this. So this piece of equipment here is what I would refer to as a custom tool. This tool will go on there like that. Allow me to put a regular wrench on here and tighten that down where it needs to go while still in the Jeep and not have to use that weird spanner. So what we'll do is we will take this guy back off, loosen the jam nut, tighten it down with that till the play is gone, and live to fight another day and check this one off the project list. Here we go. I think we're gonna end up getting a new steering box. <clears throat> I'm 
maybe having one or two of these guys rebuild I might have to revisit this video at a later date um, because I, I think I think I might have broke it so I have it back apart I got the orbital valve back out of the front of it you can see it's empty I have it over here on the bench and um, I was comparing it to the one that I took apart as a test because I have never been inside these boxes before so I was really kind of nervous that I would mess something up and I, I, I took this one apart, I had the orbital all out of it, I, I looked at it and everything seemed like it was going to be okay, pretty straightforward, I know what I'm doing, I, I have a pretty good idea what I think I need to do here, don't touch this part, put it back together, do that. And I did it, exactly how I thought I was going to do it. However, at some point in the process, I seem to have broken the orbital valve for that Jeep. or. It was broken before and I just didn't notice it. That that could be too. It, it could be that it had some of that play before and when I freed it up, it fell apart. Uh, but this is the this is the orbital, orbital out of Betsy Ross, the one that we were just working with. And we can notice that it kind of uh, fell apart into a couple different pieces here. Um, that piece is supposed to be down in there and kind of locked into that pin. Then it has the seal. Then it sits up against that piece in there. Um, it's not supposed to be out, that's for sure. <laughs> and it's not supposed to be a part, at least not from what I can tell. So when I compared them, this is the one out of this, this box that was sitting here. Um, and it's still tight. You can see it looks like maybe there's a lock ring in there holding that orbital valve together and that appears to be missing oh no maybe that's there I, I really don't know uh, but what I'm gonna do for tonight to try this just to see if this I, if this is even salvageable I'm gonna take the orbital section here off of this one I'm gonna put our new seal on it the new front section and seal I'm going to put that back in and um, see if that takes our play away because this box didn't have any play in it. Maybe I should have just cleaned that one up and put it in. Yeah, it was leaking out the seal too. All right, orbital valve in, see if there's any play. Call it for the night. I don't know. I should not have messed with this. I should have just spent the 400 bucks or whatever it costs, buy a new one. Never gonna learn if you don't try. Here we go. Just like that, I think I've given up. So, took the orbital valve, put it into this box, uh, tightened it down, got it all straight and right and everything, and it's tighter but not tight enough. I don't like it. And there's something a little weird where when I crank the wheel, it's doing like a clicking thing now. Um, so I am, <laughs> I 100% um, didn't win tonight. I failed. Uh, I have to, I have to call it. It's 10 something, 10:30. I just got the lights flicked on me, so that means that uh, I need to go into the house and. They need me in there for something. I don't know what it is, but the lights just went off and back on again. So that's my wife's way of saying, hey, I need you. Even though there is an Alexa right there that she can talk to me on. But uh, that's for another day. Hey, um, I'll be back at this tomorrow. Hope you guys come along. Um, hope we'll see you in a minute um, for you guys. Or maybe not tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know. Anyway, um, maybe I'll end it here. I don't know. I failed. Let's see what happens next. Okay, welcome back. It's the next night. I didn't give up. I just spent about another two hours working on it. Um, I got the play out of the steering shaft <clears throat> by messing with it, taking it in and out a bunch of different times. I, I think um, <clears throat> I, I think I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, but I'm I'm gonna give up because now that the play is gone in the steering shaft There's a there's a clunk or a click in the box. So whatever I did I screwed up um, 
and I think the best, the right thing for me to do at this point is to pull it out, um, educate myself better and do a full rebuild on it or replace it. And I think probably that's gonna be replace it, probably gonna be with a reputable aftermarket unit. But that's it for tonight. That's it for this video. I failed. Although, if you're learning, are you really failing? I learned. But that's it. Thanks for stopping. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good night.